Good day, and thank you for joining me. My name is Kat DeBizer, and I am the creator of Wise Turtle Oracle. I receive messages of inspiration for spiritual growth from my guides. I share those messages with you so that they may provide you support as you walk along the spiritual path to your higher self. If this is your first time joining me, thank you so much for stopping by. If you have enjoyed previous messages, welcome back. I hope you enjoy the message and please drop me a note in the comments. Please feel free to like and subscribe to this page and join our community. Today's message is about working through lessons as they come up for us, preventing us from storing them to be reviewed at a later date. Here's the message. Over and over, time and again, we roll through the past. We go through our day and all of a sudden, a past memory will pop up out of nowhere. Something that we haven't thought about for maybe decades. It catches us off guard. It jogs our memory. It brings with it a flood of emotions. Then the dam breaks and more emotions and thoughts follow. This isn't a bad thing. This is the process. This is how the mind, body, and spirit work together. The mind and body hold past unresolved memories in tiny little compartments. These are the memories that maybe didn't seem to have any impact at the time or could have been huge painful events. All of these get stored away in boxes in our mind. Some people never have the past memories come back at them. Their boxes stay unopened. In this incarnation, their lessons are working within the 3D. They do not review or relive the current 3D past memories. It could be that they process them at the time of the event and they have no further need to reevaluate them. It could be that their storage boxes are empty because they incorporate the lessons into every here and now moment. That would be something to strive for, not to hold the energy from events and memories in our bodies so that we continually have to even unconsciously drag them around. If we don't incorporate the lesson we need to learn at the moment the event occurs, our body and mind will hold that event until the right time when we can review it and work through it so that we can empty the box. As the memories surface and we stub our toe on them, they immediately get our attention from the instant pain that the stub creates. The pain can be so strong that it takes our breath away. We may even think that we have broken something. The second the event comes back in the visual form of a movie, it makes us stop what we are doing. It can even be the same event that keeps coming back from time to time. That would keep reopening the same box. That can happen until we've processed the event for whatever lesson it has to offer. If we can be in the event when it comes back to us, sit with it and give it the attention it seeks, it can teach us so much. We can likely connect other events to that one almost immediately for we have likely been given that same lesson in different forms repeatedly as spirit is trying to get us to put attention on the root cause and lesson. As we connect the dots, we can incorporate the lessons and thus empty the box. It will take the weight off our heart and mind as we free ourselves of the burden of holding on to events and memories unnecessarily. Just like cleaning out the back of a closet that is packed full of things that no longer fit us or are useful to us, we give them away and make empty spaces. The empty boxes are light and take up no memory. That is the goal, to have empty boxes and spaces 
for fresh energy that is in a higher consciousness. That elevated consciousness can allow for the here and now analysis and incorporation of lessons, thus keeping our box empty and our lives being lived in the here and now in active time. I hope this message provides you inspiration on your own personal journey. Thank you again for joining me today. My contact information is in the description box below. I look forward to hearing from you. Please stop back to listen to other messages of inspiration. Bye for now.